off the record with this guy, and you know what's important about people like Tim Kaniskas is that they actually change the path of history for the auto industry with cars like you see behind us, the Demon. Tell me one thing about yourself that not many people know. One thing about myself, and this is something you're never supposed to admit, you're never supposed to design a car for yourself. You're never supposed to design a car for your team. You're never supposed to bring something to market that's internal. You're always supposed to look to the outside market, right? And look at what the customers want. But the reality is we have a core group of people inside our company that are passionate drag racers. And when we were kids, we were growing up, myself included, you know, we would take our cars to the drag strip. And these weren't nice cars. You know, these were cars that we were lucky that they didn't break while we were there because we had no way to get home. And we put all our stuff in the trunk and we got there and we drag raced all day and then we went home. Well, the reality is this car that we're bringing to market is the car that we dreamed about having when we were kids. We get the opportunity to bring it to market now. I've got Tim Kaniskas with me, the president of Dodge, Fiat, Chrysler, and SRT. He's the head of passenger cars for FCA. Tim's a good guy, he's a friend of mine. He's a guy that has hacked the corporate system. And I'll say it like that because Tim, you have done something that they say couldn't be done. Wow. And you, you showed the world the demon behind us, which has been news all over the place. I mean, here's a car that pops a wheelie. Here's a car that has 840 horsepower. In a time when everybody's zigging, you zagged. Well, you're giving me way too much credit, as usual. I mean, we have a core group of guys inside the company, our SRT group. And this is what they exist for. They exist to make crazy cars like this. But one of the biggest challenges with a car like this is secrecy keeping the car under wraps because the fans are so passionate about this stuff they're looking for leaks tidbits everywhere you know we've been working on this car for two years if you think about the timeline on that two years ago we were in the absolute peak of the hellcat cars were selling like crazy people were waiting a year to get the car and we were working on this one so we were very worried that this would leak out way before we could bring the car to market so we actually went through our whole corporate governance process to get the car approved and didn't really approve everything that we just launched. We approved actually a little bit less than that, and our plan from day one was to way overachieve those parameters. But we wanted to do it privately, in quiet, with a core group of guys, and we kept it quiet for two years. You know, guys on the inside of corporate America that have this kind of courage that are entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs on the inside, are what make the difference in corporate America, and corporate no matter where you are in this world. How did you decide inside of yourself to take this leap? I mean, this is an entrepreneurial move that you made. I mean, you hacked this whole system called corporate America, and you have maybe even, you know, broken a few rules. Well, I, we never break any rules, Alan, but <laughs> I will tell you this, our, our core team, our group of people, we have a strong belief, and the belief, we talk about it being the last 10th, and it has nothing to do with tenth of a second and a quarter mile or anything like that. It's that last tenth of effort, that last tenth of push to go beyond what you're supposed to do to something that actually is going to make history. The general market doesn't know what a quarter mile time is or horsepower, but when you say it's the fastest car ever, it's the most powerful V8 ever, and Guinness Book of World Records says it's the only car that's ever done a wheelie, now it makes sense. And that's what that last tenth is. So along the path of your life, you have, I have to imagine, decided you're going to take the road less traveled. Is that true? Well, I, I have a passion for this business. This is all I've ever done. Um, only been in the car business, only ever want to be in the car business. So to me, you know, the old cliche about you never work if you're doing something you love. I mean, I live that every day. I love what I do. I love launching a car like this. I love having the opportunity to share this with passionate fans. Well, that's off the record, by the way. Tim Kaniskas, thank you very much. Thank you.